Hey guys, in this video, I am going to bling out this shirt. This came out so cute and I ended up getting the image from Google and I turned it into rhinestones. Guys, for those of you that do this, y'all got a lot of patience. But anyway, let's get started. Hey guys, how we doing? So I am coming with a project of a rhinestones. I ended up finding a file on a Google and um, I bring it into my silhouette and I end up making um, a rhinestone template. I bring it in Cricut and now I cut it all out and now I'm going to weed it. So I am going to use vinyl and flock. So the shirt that I'm using, it is from Gildan. It's a soft style. And this soft style, it is so soft. It's not like the heavy cotton Gildan. And it's much lighter. And I like this style a lot. I ended up getting this from clothingonline.com. And they were running a sale. So I ended up picking up a lot. So, let's start taking our image off. So I end up using gold foil to cut out the face. So now I'm going to weed it really quick. And this metallic is amazing. Okay, so there goes my vinyl image, and I'm going to put this on the side, and now we're going to start weeding our template. Okay, so here goes my flock, and now I'm going to peel and hoping that all my dots come off. I didn't change my blade. And I end up cutting it under the holographic vinyl setting with more. And it looks like it cut, but some of it didn't come out. Okay, so instead of me cutting this off and wasting that, I'm instead of me pulling that off and wasting it, I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so here goes my image. So now I'm just going to turn it on the back and we're going to rub it down. And now we're just going to peel back and hopefully a lot of the little bit of dots stay behind. It did take a lot of the dots out, but it's, I still got some dots left. Okay, so there goes my template. So now let me bring in a cutting mat. Let me clean this up also. So I have this template that it has this side and then there's this side that's empty. So what I'm going to do, that's where I'm going to put my image at. So there goes my template and now I'm just going to place it all the way in the bottom. Just like that. Okay. 
and there goes my template. So, for my hat color, I'm going to use Arm Dorado because my vinyl is gold metallic. And I think those two colors will look good on a black shirt. So, I might think about... Let me cut something else out because I think it would look better if it had some lipstick. Okay, guys. So, I end up cutting a piece of glitter. And I flipped the image because it is vinyl. And now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pick the middle and I'm going to place it inside of the lips. So, you're just going to go like this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this up. Okay, so I was going to do it the other way, but I changed my mind. So now I'm just going to try to position the piece back in the middle. And then I'm going to remove the outer layer of this. And then I'll just have an insert for both of the lips instead of putting it one at a time. So let me just make sure. And that looks like it's going to fit. So I'm going to have to press it in two separate pieces. But that's all right, guys. So let me put this on the side. I already dealt with that. And now we're going to start putting in our rhinestones. So. And I got this flat. And I have my big brush. So now. I just want to come here. And throw some down. And then we're going to start brushing them in. This arm dorado is gorgeous, guys. And I know it's going to look really good on a black shirt. So I was super excited when I converted this to a rhinestone template because when I first put it in, oh my God, guys, I give it in, I, I give props up to Miss Patrice from Craftable Things and Making with Marilyn because you guys got patience to sit down and move every stone. It took me a while for it to be completed because there were so many empty spaces, but overall, when you guys sit down and spend time creating a design and stuff like that, you sit there and you sit there and you decide, oh, I am so done. I can't do it no more. And then the whole effect of it at the end, you start just, you start liking yourself even more, guys. Okay, so now I got my transfer. And I'm only going to pull half of it down. I think this did pretty good. So now I'm just going to peel it back. Making sure to pick up all your rhinestones. And now cover it back up. Okay, so 
there goes our template. Let's go to the heat press and press this on our shirt with this and some lipstick. It's supposed to look like that. So let's go. Okay, so I'm doing rhinestones and vinyl. Rhinestones is higher than vinyl. So we're going to have to press our vinyl first, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to put my rhinestones to the side. I'm going to bring in my shirt and we're going to press it. So here goes my black gilding shirt and we're going to do a pre-press first. And you just want to make sure that everything lines up and is all straight. Because you don't want to work so hard and then you have a crooked shirt. Okay, so right now we are 226 and I'm going to do a pre-press. Okay, so now my shirt is all pre-pressed and it's perfect right now. So now what I want to do I want to take my template of my rhinestones and see where I'm going to place them at. And I want to see where the face is going to go. So And I think right there looks good. So, what I would like to do, I want to press the glitter first. Glitter takes longer, and that looks good right there. So now, I'm going to leave the glitter one on. I'm going to take my rhinestone template off and put it on the side. And now, I'm going to press my glitter. Okay, ready to press the lips down. I'm pressing it at 325 temperature for 10 seconds. Okay. There goes my lips. Now, let's put on the gold now you just want to line up the lips right in between and that looks good right there and I want to press this no more than eight seconds because it is metallic Is a cold peel, so now let's peel. Okay. Now I have my bling. And I'm going to lay it right over her eye. Three fingers down. That kind of looks good. So now I'm going to press that for, let me change my temperature to 350. And it's going to be for 12 seconds. So let that come up to temperature. Okay, is that 350? I'm going to use a Teflon to cover this part right here so I don't get too much heat. I'm going to fold up my Teflon. And now let's press. Okay. 
And now, I'm going to peel back this. Uh, it ripped my lips apart. Let me see if I could do something. You see, it took the gold off my lips. I should have not even put the Teflon on the... Oh, well. So, let me take you back to my table and we'll see what we can do. Okay, guys. So, I'm back at the table. And here goes my shirt. So, I thought it came out really good. Besides, I don't know if you can tell the lips. The transfer and the pulling some of the color of the metallic off. But overall, this came out really cute. I like the hat. I definitely like how the hat looks. The vinyl part is uh, iffy. Maybe if I didn't use metallic or glitter. Well, the glitter is just fine. I should have not even used the outside. So, but anyway, guys. There goes my project for today. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment if you would like. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.